Um, I'm Courtney Kingsmore from Louisa East Elementary, and I teach fourth grade reading there. Uh, my grant was written for engaging students and improving performance on formative assessments. Um, the problem of practice that I had was that I had a hard time keeping my students engaged on formative assessments and having them apply the test taking strategies that I know that they know that they sometimes often forget to apply when they're doing multiple choice questions or any kind of test prep or formative assessment. Uh, and the resources that I applied for and got from KVEC were three whiteboard collaborative tables and one kidney table. Strategies that I've implemented this year with the use of the whiteboard tables have been deconstructing short answer and extended response questions so that the students better understand what they're expected to answer each time. Process of elimination on multiple choice because we all know they want to go straight to the answer they think it is instead of going through each choice to figure out why it could be the incorrect or the correct answer. Student collaboration to create rubrics for short answer and extended response questions and peer responses practicing closed sentences where they have to use their context clues to figure out the missing vocabulary word, and close reading complex text in their close readers. These are just a few pictures of my students using the whiteboard tables. Um, this was a short answer question where they had to determine the text structure that was used in a passage. Um, so actually, Mrs. Adams that's back there, I saw that she had divided her whiteboard tables using tape, so I thought, that's a good idea, I'm going to steal it from her. So we went through and they each had their own section to work. Um, I don't have tables for my whole class, but I try to rotate them around and the ones that don't have the whiteboards use like the individual dry erase boards. But out of overall, I had 46 out of 48 students that answered correctly. And I actually have a student that has selective mutism that sometimes has a hard time expressing an answer or even trying to write the answer down. And I think his is right here, but you can see that he got a good start on answering the question and he felt confident because he had fun using the whiteboard tables. This was another formative assessment. We worked on poetry, and actually the kids gave me this idea of finding the rhyme scheme using the whiteboard tables. So they were able to read their poem and answer the question on the paper, but they got to use the whiteboard tables on the side to practice finding the rhyme scheme and find different similes throughout their poem. Um, predicted outcomes, I said that my students will show growth on star reading assessments by growing the number of months that have passed from the previous, previous test and that they would also improve on their Moby Max reading lessons that I assign in reading stations. They do that around once, probably once a week and they're reassigned if needed. Um, multiple choice comprehension questions, which we do daily. Short answer and extended responses, which is heavy in fourth grade. Closed sentences and their weekly and unit assessments. Um, I measured their growth by using the star screening report, report, which shows where they're at based on the current benchmark on star reading. The state standards report, which I was able to use to figure out which standards they were within, below, or above on, and I was able to pull my groups and use the whiteboard tables to practice those strategies with them. And their data is displayed on a data wall and in their data notebooks, which they keep track with. Um, this is just the star data. The first assessment was given in August before the use of the whiteboard tables. We've done these strategies all year, but I do feel like bringing in the tables allowed them to have more fun with it. They were more engaged and therefore it carried over on their test. Um, I received my tables in December and was able to use them for about two weeks before the second test. And the last star assessment was given in March. So my students are showing growth, which is what all we can ever ask. So. Um, and this was just the star screening report, which shows where they were at based on the current benchmark. So that is August and then December, and the next slide shows the last, which was March. Which, so they are getting closer to meeting their benchmark each time. This was their Moby Max data. Um, like I said, they only do Moby Max about once or twice per week, but I was able to take a student that was above, below, and within based on STAR and track their progress. And you can see that this student went back and forth, but overall each student is showing growth on each lesson, and I think that's because they've taken these strategies that they've used on the tables and applied them over to their lessons each day. This is where my students have reflected in their data notebooks. So each time we take a common assessment, they reflect on how they did. Um, this student is showing growth on reading. This is a student that's probably average. 
Um, so they started out with 86% on their first common assessment and 85, and then the last one they got a 14 out of 15. So they were able to reflect on what they did well while using their strategies and what they need to improve on. Um, and this is just our data wall that we use to track our common assessments. So overall, my class has shown growth on the common assessments because they're taking these strategies that we use daily and applying them. Um, these are just some student testimonies. I went through and asked them, what do you have to say about our whiteboard tables? Um, one of them said, I like having the whiteboard tables in reading class now instead of just math because all of our math teachers do have them. They said we had the same rules in both so it makes it easy. It makes um, writing more fun and we get to practice rap on the tables, which is restate, answer, improve. Um, I like working in groups and doing consensus maps on the table, which is probably the thing they enjoy doing the most is working in their groups. Teacher observations, I have noticed that on our last STAR test, I saw my students using the strategies of reading their questions first, deconstructing the questions, eliminating the multiple choice answers, um, and making sure they're applying those skills. And these are just a couple of pictures of students that have improved on their writing, I think based on all of the strategies they've practiced all year. And that's it. Thank you all.